If you or your partner have ADHD, you may be wondering, what should I treat first if I have both ADHD and some other issue like anxiety? First of all, it's very common for people with ADHD to also struggle with something else like depression or anxiety, oppositional defiant disorder. Dyslexia actually is also pretty common. And then alcohol dependence or substance abuse, other conditions like Tourette's or learning disabilities or sleep apnea. You may be wondering where do we even begin, if, if especially if this is a later in life diagnosis. So knowing what to treat first is usually going to be at the discretion of your doctor or your physician. So if you have something like a history of depression in addition to ADHD, your doctor may choose to start treating them both same time. Maybe they give you an antidepressant for the depression and a stimulant medication for the ADHD and maybe recommend therapy for some behavioral sort of techniques to help you to learn how to regulate your attention. But maybe you have a shorter term, more recent depression and your doctor may say, let's just treat those ADHD symptoms first. And then maybe the depression will be lifted because maybe it, you're, you've just been down lately because you have so many ADHD symptoms and it's really wrecked havoc on your life. So there is some flexibility there if you or your partner are struggling with both ADHD and something else. So I think it's really important just to individualize treatment and to develop a really good relationship with an expert who really specializes in ADHD as well as the other sort of issue at hand. And it's also finally important to, to note that there are a lot of misdiagnoses. So sometimes people may think they have ADHD, but they don't. So if you're sleep deprived or have sleep apnea, or there can be other sort of issues. If you're having a lot of distraction, there could be something biological going on. It could also be a mood disorder. Sometimes people have bipolar disorder, but that's often confused with ADHD. So especially if someone has like a lot of rage or long periods of sleep deprivation, or kind of a lot of energy or manic behavior or racing thoughts that can look like ADHD, but sometimes that can be bipolar. So it's really important to see an expert psychiatrist who really can distinguish between the two. If your partner has ADD or ADHD, you may be wondering, is there a mild version or a more severe version? And the truth is, yes, it, it really can vary in intensity. If your partner has a milder version, they might be just a little bit distractible and not really very impulsive. Other people might be really distractible and they can barely function and maybe they're really impulsive very reactive emotionally and unable to organize most of their life or projects at home or manage their time, their memory might be really affected, especially short term. They might really have trouble memorizing or remembering what you've asked them to do. So if your partner is struggling with ADD or ADHD, just know that again, there's a whole spectrum. It can really look different depending on the person. And there really is a correlation between how severe these symptoms are and your partner's ability or inability to do well in life, whether it's at home or at work or at school or even things like driving. And last but not least, in addition to there being really different kind of severity levels of ADD and ADHD, there's also different types. There's the distractive type. Distraction is really that main symptom. It used to be called AD, but now it's just included in an ADHD diagnosis. And then there's another type called more the hyperactive type, and that can be all by itself, or it can also be a combo with distraction. And that is more of a symptom of other types of ADHD. So remember, again, your partner may have very different types of ADHD compared to what you previously thought someone might have.